everybody and welcome back to my channel it's your girl alicia and today is an exciting day because we know the gender of our baby so if you didn't know um we are pregnant currently we are 19 weeks pregnant far along as it goes and today we are going to find out the gender or you're going to find out the gender with us we're going to have a little bit of fun in the beginning so stay tuned Boop. <laughs> to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with those that are currently pregnant, has been pregnant, thinking about being pregnant, supporting somebody that's pregnant, or just wants to enjoy some pregnant content for right now. Um, sprinkled in will be other content, so just stay tuned, stay with us. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the comments that have come in. Thank you for the comments on my social media that has come in. I appreciate it all. It's much appreciated. So let's get right in. So the fun that we're having before you find out the gender, it will be at the end of the video, um, is some old wives tales. So if you do not know what an old wives tale is, it's literally like a superstitious truth, if that makes any sense, or urban legend. But we all know what it is. So I come so say your mom or aunt, you you go to a restaurant and you put your bag down. I put it on the floor. They go, oh, no, 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 Don't put your bag on the floor. You're going to lose money that way. That's a old wives tale. Don't ever put your bag on the floor. You will lose money. That's not necessarily true, but it's access for someone to steal it. And there's been cases where people, if they put their bag on the floor, they have lost money. It's a superstitious truth, right? Or like in my Caribbean background, um, they always say if someone dream of fish, that somebody's pregnant. And it just always so happens that if this person have dreamed of fish, that there's somebody pregnant. Not, it doesn't necessarily coincide. It's just, it's just so happens. So there's a bunch of old wives tales in terms of the gender of the baby. Um, and we're going to go through them right now to see if it coincides with what we're having. So right now, as the tally goes, the majority of the family wants a boy and my poor baby girl is just sitting over here hoping and wishing for a sister um i personally just want a healthy baby um however my preference right now if you would ask me if i was not like the typical answer of healthy baby healthy baby healthy baby because i would want a boy i would want another boy um since i was a kid i've always said i wanted all boys but god gave me a girl because he said i needed a best friend and i got one um if we had another girl i wouldn't be sad it would it, still be happy it's just that i wanted a boy because i like my our little triangle that we have um we have two girls right now and whenever we all are all together we, we we girl talk we go get our nails done it's just it's just cute and also that each girl has their dad's pinky and it's just it's great and then if we add another girl in there it'd be cool it'd be a square it'd be a little more expensive but it'd be a square and <laughs> we'll be fine with it either way a boy will just be cool all the way around i feel like boys are really loving they're really caring um they they are they they, they stink when they get older but then it, it changes because then they begin to get into girls or whatever they're into and then begin to smell good again but they also are expensive they're not as expensive as the, the girls but they are expensive anyway let's get right into this video i'm be on my computer the website that I am using is pampers.com. If you haven't already, if you're pregnant and you haven't already, please download the pampers.com. Um, and I believe Huggies have one too. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but if you download the app pampers.com, they give you coupons. So like say um, you had a baby shower and you're getting um, Pampers diapers as gifts. You can scan that barcode and get coupons off of those diapers. This is not sponsored. It's just me giving a, 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 a tip out there. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely download it or download Huggies. I believe Huggies is the same thing. But they also give great information. So this is the website that I'm on right now. They have like 33 um, old wives tales. We're only going to go through 10, I believe. 
and then there's some fun ones down here that I'm not gonna do but I'm gonna talk about because I've done one with my my daughter and I think that's really cool anyway so like I said majority of family wants boys my poor daughter's out here hoping for a girl so the first one is a morning sickness if you have lots of nausea it's a girl if you have mild or non-existent nausea it's a boy for this pregnancy i haven't had a lot of nausea like the only times i've, I've experienced nausea with this pregnancy was when um it, it's if i'm hungry or, or need to use the bathroom if once I get some food or once I use the bathroom, that nausea goes away and I'm perfectly fine after that. So I guess that's a point for the boy. Cravings, sweet for a girl, salty for a boy. Mine, I think will be a, whatchamacallit, non-factor because for my, for, for, for this pregnancy, I'm craving chocolate, french fries and burgers. Um along with popsicles so i i guess it's a mix of both sweet and salty so i would say that this does not apply to this pregnancy because to me it's non-factor it, it doesn't give one or the other and it's been like that for my other pregnancies like for my son i craved ice grapes popsicles and the quesadillas for my daughter what i could hold down i craved snickers ice cream bars french fries and egg rolls weird but that's what i crave and that's what i want and in this pregnancy i have the typical one where i really want pickles like i really want like i'll i'll tell michael like he's like what you want to eat i was like i want a burger but with lots of pickles like i really want pickles on my burgers like i want whatever burger or sandwich i'm eating i want lots of pickles so that's another thing so i'll say that's a non-factor for all my pregnancies heartburn consistent and intense heartburn it's a girl mild or non-existent it's a boy i don't get heartburn like that with this pregnancy like if i drink orange or something acidic i will get a little burn but then it goes away um with my son it was terrible like terrible to the point there it wouldn't go away until i vomited it was so bad with my daughter i was just sick all the time i had morning sickness crazy crazy just constantly sick to the point where I even vomited while while pushing her out. So I I, I don't know if if um, heartburn was a thing with her, but definitely for this pregnancy it's not. So I guess that's a point for the boy. So it's two so far for the boy. Um, bump position and size, high and wide. You're a girl. Low and narrow. It's a boy so for this pregnancy i will definitely say it's wide um high i'm not sure because if i be completely com completely honest with my son i couldn't breathe like it felt like he was sitting on my lungs and i could not breathe if i walked two steps it was just like <gasps> it was really bad right when my daughter it was fine it was just bottom like pain like it was just lower abdomen pain but I'll put the pictures up here of both bumps. If you look at the bumps though, my son's was narrow and low and my daughter's was wide and high. So I guess it ranged through, I guess, in that circumstance. In this one, I am not entirely sure on where this baby sits. I'm not entirely sure. So I'll put that as a non-factor because I'm not sure. Wide, yes. So maybe a point for a girl. We'll do that. Wide, point for a girl. Breast size, relative to body shape, girl, large and heavy, boy. It's definitely relative to my body shape. They are a lot larger than they were. Like right now, they're not fitting in my bra as is. I need to get bigger size bras, but then I feel like it's a waste of money and time. Um, I am going to switch over to nursing bras very soon because they are larger, but they are still proportionate to my body size. So I'm not even, that's definitely a point for a girl weight gain if it's a girl you gain throughout your body if it's a boy you gain throughout just your belly this is definitely a point for a girl my thighs are thicker than than than, than a snicker at the moment like they they out here thundering and living their bestest life <laughs> okay my face living its bestest life my arms living its bestest life so i will definitely give that that's hands down ko for a girl so that's what is it 
two so far three three so far for a girl and two for a boy all right hair nails and skin if it's dry brittle and oily with acne it's a girl if it's shiny strong and dry no acne it's a boy this too i will say it's a non-factor only because as you can see my nails are strong and right at the moment um however my skin is extremely oily um i don't get um pimples or acne so that's not really a thing i have to deal with but this this skin is crazy oily i'll wash it with my regular soap and i can still feel the oil on my face to the point where i don't probably don't have to put lotion on my face that's how oily my skin is i think the most i got in the oil off is if i would use witch hazel on my face and then washed it and then one of the two i did one of the two first witch hazel and then washed it and that's the most oil i've gotten off my face since so that's a non-factor because i have both <laughs> my skin my, my nails and my, my my nails are strong my hair is doing what it do and my skin is extremely oily so that's a non-factor friend next is the linea nigra i guess that's how you pronounce it line you know a dark line on the belly that you normally see for um, pregnant women that's what they're talking about if it's a girl it starts below the belly button if it's a boy it starts above mine definitely is starting below i don't remember what it did for my other two children but this one definitely starting below it's actually at my belly button right now going down so it definitely starts below that's a point for a girl yeah so that's four for a girl two for a boy so far baby's heartbeat if it's faster or above 140 it's a girl if it's slower or below 140 it's a boy this baby's heartbeat has been above 140 every single time. So I guess that's another point for a girl. It's five to two. Poor baby boys. Ugh. Okay. Preferred sleeping position. If it's the right side, it's a girl. Left side, it's a boy. I do prefer to fall asleep on my right than my left. I know it's better to sleep on your left side because you can eliminate a lot of issues. Like for instance, um, if I do have a little bit of heartburn or a little bit of stomach pain, if I lay on my left side, that alleviates that problem. So just a note out there for mommies out there that are pregnant, if you lay on your left, you, you alleviate a lot of the problems or make the symptoms go down of that problem, even nausea. If you lay on your left side, it is better. Um, but I am more comfortable right now on my right. So that's, again, another point for a girl. So according to these 10 Old wives tale, we are having a baby girl. Girl wins. We don't know. Um, let me go through some other ones. I found some other ones that was really cool. Um, so these are signs that involve your partner. There's the key test. If you want to involve your partner, get the key test, right? Okay. So how this one goes is... Just have your partner place a key on the table, right? Pick up the key and ask your partner to read the results below. Serious spoils are ahead, so no peeking. The myth, if you pick up the key by its narrow end, it's a girl, that's interesting. If you pick up the key by its round top, it's a boy. So that's interesting. So like if you lay a key down, you just randomly pick it up and then say read the results. And then they read the results. If you open your hand, you have you hold it, and you're holding it by the narrow end. It's a girl. And if it's right, then oh well, you did a thing. The next one. What is going? I'm sorry, I'm reading these guys. It's so funny. These are hilarious. There's a baking soda test. Oh my gosh, the skull theory. Let me read this one, because this one... All right. There's a skull theory that's requiring your ultrasounds. The skull theory focuses on the shape of the baby's developing skull. Ask the health provider to show you the little one's skull to see if, the, if it appears rounded or blocky. If it's a girl, the skull will be rounded. And if it's a boy... The skull would be like not not as round. It'll be like squarish. 
Has it, have any of you been to an ultrasound before? Like, what are you? If they don't say, hey, this is the hand, I would, this one is a dub. No, thank you. The Mayan system, let's see what this one is. A truly ancient method inspiring an old wives tale, the Mayan, the Mayan system of the gender prediction uses the parent's birthday. The Mayans will look at the year of the mother's birth and the year of the baby is due to formulate the gender prediction. Okay. If both years are even, it's a girl. And if both years are odd or, or one is even, one is odd, it's a boy. So if we're looking at my birth year, my birth year is an even number. This baby's birth year is an odd number. So that's a point for a boy. And there's Chinese gender prediction. This one has been right every single time, never fail. When I did it for mine, like for my birthday, it said that I was going to be a girl. When I did it for my son's birthday, it said he was going to be a boy. When I did it for my daughter's birthday, it said it was going to be a girl. Even when they didn't come on their due dates, it still said it was going to be the gender that they were. So I put in this baby's um, due date and it stated that it would be a girl. So we'll see. We will, we will see. There's a baking soda test, a wedding ring test. I've heard of this wedding ring gender test before. A pencil test, eye test. <laughs> eye test is funny. If your pupils remain the same, hello, it's a baby girl. If your pupils start dilating, getting bigger, you're having a boy. What is happening? <laughs> A garlic test. Ew. If you don't smell after eating a lot of garlic, it's a girl. If you smell like garlic, it's a boy. Wouldn't you smell like garlic regardless? <clears throat> that's not sorry. That's not a here or there. Oh, the spoon test. This one we actually did with my co-worker that I worked with when I was working when I was pregnant with my daughter. Um, she is Hispanic. And I, I have never heard of it before until she brought it up to me. So I don't know if it's, a, if it's a cultural thing or not. But this one was interesting. She had put a, a, a fork on a chair. Or she had put two chairs out. And she had put a spoon on the chair. Or some, some, something on the chair. Either a spoon or a fork on the chair. Covered, covered both of them with, with a napkin and was like, all right, pick a seat. And I chose a seat and the seat that I chose actually had the the item on it. And she's like, that means you're having a girl. And I found that hilarious. And what it says here is if you choose a seat with the spoon, you're having a girl. If you choose a seat with the fork, you're having a boy. I guess I chose the spoon, the, the, the seat with the spoon and I was having a girl and I'm having a girl. That was hilarious. That cracked me up. All right. So that is it for the old wives tale that we are going through. There are many, many more. Like I said, I read through some of them. A baking soda set, um, test, a drain something test. There's a whole bunch of them that you can do to have fun with, um, with your partner, with your kids, even just do them yourself. I think these are really funny um, in predicting <laughs> your baby's gender. But the best way to find out is usually around your... 19 your 18 to 20 week um ultrasound that's when they can see the gender or the genitals the best um and that'd be like your best prediction and they also do a blood test really early at like 15 weeks that you can also do that can also tell you what the um the sex of the baby is as well um but all of this relative i can't wait to open these lab results and find out what we're really having because shopping shall commence like we've gotten a little bit here and there like bibs and blankets and stuff. I even kept some blankets and stuff from my daughter. Um, so we still have some of those things. So that'd be cool. And they were new, they were gender neutral. I only, I only kept the gender neutral stuff anyway. So that'd be cool to start see what we, we are having and get some stuff that are in either gender neutral colors or colors that are on the masculine or feminine side. 
Um, but I can't wait to shop. I can't wait to share this information with you. Um, please give us name ideas down at the bottom. Give us, I am thinking of a crib, whether it be white, black, or olive green. Give me your choices down the bottom and I'll let you know what we chose. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget at the end will be what we are having. But thank you so much for watching. As always, heart you guys much. Bye.